It's celebrity pulpit. Sana your free show way. You put all media houses new together. We celebrate it now. We need more 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 to more 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 news. News readers need be wawa se enye ne a anka u ni mo mo ni mupo enye na Facebook ama u huwa mo ni mudi o mo chi social media Instagram Facebook YouTube mudi o mo chi mu follow mo ebi numa wa system ni mu ache yadi yen satinit ni ebi numa so ye nim ni eti o mo mu ye chese di ebi numa siye siye o mo se di o bi mo ju manetiye na ye bu o mo se sebe o mo ni nyamimpo e ni bibia eka so we is all about our celebrities o mo mo to njo mo mo kan news celebrity be a wonim mothers old new actors actresses o be a wonim no as a celebrity we put all of them together we put all the followers no together na ye nyina ye ni o ma share o mo encounter em punim po a o mo ni nyankopon abo the show is called celebrity Pop it. And my name is Mami Grace. I'm going to be your host. Let's take our first worship and let's see how the show runs. Welcome once again to another beautiful show called Celebrity Pulpit. Our worship for today is coming from our own sister, Ruth AJ. Let's welcome her. of glory you reign forever Lord, in all the earth you reign forever Lord, in all the earth hallelujah amen to the king Oh, I owe Nana, do you? 
give you all the praise. Yehovah, yo, na na da 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 Yehovah, yeah, na 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 da yeah, Yehovah, yeah, na na da yeah, wahota. Hey, Ruth, and yeah, is you. Do you think music can pay? Can someone live on like we a musician? I want to enjoy my. A bet me I'm a wabobra, and I do pay you maybe yet. Oh, a bet me I yeah. When all structures are put in place, definitely. But for now, uh, currently I trust that we had several issues which has been rectified. I have I, I, I have listened to a lot, especially with the entertainment reviews here and there, and even your show where people are trying to put things together to make the Ghana system work for mm. all of us. So I mm. trust that when that is done. But a lot of people in other countries are living on music. Yes. It is just, it's good. Like for me, I, I work at the same time. So, so if you're working at a Are you married? Good. Not yet, but soon. Who are you married? I'm not sure. Yes. 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 <laughs> so, I haven't thought about that. You haven't thought, you don't yes. want to answer any question. Oh, I am answering you. So okay, dear baby, I will be into so software about China. And yet, dear baby, be answer me. I've given God my space. Yeah, and to know that you can't. My mom can't. Yeah, I didn't hear. And yet, baby, but you don't know. I'm, what, I'm what, 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 uh -huh. Abi and God's plans, yeng yeng nim, yeng yeng pay a catch and say, "Ready, do this for us." Uh -huh. But you might not know the future. You may throw the dice, but the Lord determines how they <laughs> fall. That is it. That's at it. At the end of the day, see, we should ask, and it shall be given unto us. And can't pass off one kaya list, you know. Oh, the kaho. This is our own sister Ruthie. He gave, she gave us uh, the worship. Oh my, worship, you know, for end. Thank you so much Thank you for, for coming, me. Ruth. We love you, we love and you we too. celebrate you Thank today. You so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Yo, you are watching Celebrating Puppet. Aha, ye put you or be we are singing out together. Celebrate be a wunim no. So ye Christo nun kwa dia ube huno ewa platform wave. So and then why never my motivation no ana so so se why never my radia sem ana so so and then why never encourage ye. Ye se ye wa emma omu ye very very influential ewa Ghana or ye one of them. Or no, or the changes be bre edia ba. Me say, ye president coronavirus ba ye or se pandemic, pandemic, sa bro fu yobi yaka. Send ni pa wen kwa mention sa brofu we e wo TV so I mra no tu kwa ba ya ye di ni share baby. O ka sa pandemic na manti na no ati. O ka brofu a ube wun se ye ka brofu we change bibi wo gana. Nan ko bi wari o hini ya nan ni di no e ye sa bat o no no wabed dani bibi o bi a wari o hini enda o hini yere o hini yere inti o bi a peso o wari hini. Me kuda mi jina hei. Minye bi a nan kam di a kaka wano hon. Aye, and now why never motivate you? Why never can you? I mean, so why never can you encounters at Shreyan? Baby, you free. Any baby, any me didn't know about the Drew. Aye, peche man, ana. Aye, day man, ana. Ni awa kumu no se wa be mo bua ene. Ube tiye ni pa we ye numu asemu. Na ube sha wo hodene. Na wa encourage you wo hon. Why? And I be my enemy as him. Oba or Kasa, Nanu, Edru, Jum, Ewogana. Ha, who Janet to one on so I know we be in in some no a Joe. And you be a to say yenyan Kasa ye mami or hene a jere gifty auntie. Thank you very much, and it's an honor to be part of this great program. And I must recommend and commend the producers and the brains behind this awesome uh, program, because without God, we are nothing. You know, the dawn before 
I came for this program. That's last night, very late, almost 12 midnight. I sent a message to one of the producers who was contacting me that I'm sorry to disappoint her and that I cannot make it because I already have a program scheduled to, and then she said, Auntie Gifty, you can't do this to me. You just can't do, you have to come. It's so important. And that kept me awake. Well, the other side is um, I had taken in some drink that I didn't know was energy drink. So it kept me awake. So I decided to meditate. And one of the things that I kept asking God, by the way, if you don't know this about me, I call myself the woman with super crazy faith in God by virtue of my testimonies and my miracles. I asked God, I've been in front of the cameras for over 25 years. And I asked, why am I still relevant? There are people who I came to meet in this industry who are nowhere to be found. People don't even remember them. There are people who I started with. And there are people who came to meet me. Why am I still here? Why am I still being sought after? Why am I still relevant? And I came to one conclusion. Grace. Adum. Ayadum bikeke. But one thing about grace that we, especially as Christians, we take for granted. We think it comes there naturally. Yes, it's there. God has given us grace, favor. This is month of May. The month of grace and favor. Yes, he is given to us. But you see, there are things that we need to do as Christians that will stir up the spirit, the heavens, will touch the heart of God for him to release this grace and favor upon us. Gratitude. In two days, we'll be celebrating Mother's Day. I want to look at gratitude. I was not born with silver spoon in my mouth. No. I was born at Tema. In fact, I was conceived at Aflao. Born at Chebi, raised in Tema. Entina mabra bone ye, and ye straightforward. Kakra na chua chubi wangusan. I went to Tema Comte in number one primary and middle school. The area I grew up in, most of the children I grew up went to preparatory school. I went to Saito, government school. I grew up with a lot of insecurities, a lot of peer pressure, a lot of anxiety, stigma. I was everybody's, well, I was part of everybody, but I had no friends. I struggled to fit in. Really struggled to fit in. And I see that in the youth of today. You see, young people watching us today, watching me today, let me tell you this. When we try to motivate you, to inspire you, to caution you, and sometimes to direct it. It's not because we haven't made mistakes before. No, 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 no. It's not because what you are doing we haven't done before. It is because sometimes we've been through it. We've committed the same quote-unquote abominable act. But we talk to you. We use our lives as an example so you don't fall into the same pit holes that we fell into. Some of the things that we have done, I have done in the past, other people did and didn't survive and are nowhere to be found. So be careful when you follow blindly. So many people want to be famous, but fame, famous for what? How do you want to be remembered? What do you want to be said about you? Listen, life is a journey. We all start from somewhere. And we struggle along. There were times when we fell. There were times 
when we had to crawl. There were times when things were easy and we were just running through. And it's not going to be any different for you, girl, or brother, or boy. It's not going to be any different. It's going to be the same process. But your attitude towards it is what is going to make the difference. One of the things that you, I never shy away from is admitting my failures. And if any of you have read any of my books, I write openly about it. I never run away from my failures and my mistakes. I own it. And that helps me to strive on. Because when you own your mistakes and your failures... And you don't blame people for your shortcomings. That is the only way you can do better. I see young people today striving to be famous. Striving to do what other people are doing. When people tell me, Auntie Gifty, I want to be like you, I worry. Because what I've been through to be here today, I don't want my daughter, to go through that to be here. No. Because if you tell me you want to be like me, you are telling me that you want to travel my journey. And trust me, if you know my full journey, you wouldn't want to travel that journey. I want you to be the best of you. The best of yourself. Owning your own mistakes and making sure you don't make the mistakes that I have made continue to make mistakes because I'm a human being. I will continue to fail at certain things. One would have thought that somebody who married at the age of 45 and had a child at 47, I would have learned a lot and would have known what to do in marriage and what to do when it comes to parenting. But Charlie, trust me, I'm making some very serious mistakes. Sometimes I sit back and look and I say, hey, Raddy, did I do, just do this? Life is not easy, but God didn't promise you that it was going to be easy. Don't rush. Follow the process. Do not rush. All you need is to be alive. Let me take you back to what I was talking about, wanting to be like everybody else. My theme, my personal theme for the year 2021 is being an extraordinary woman. Now, what is your worth if you want to be like everybody? If you want to do what everybody else is doing? <laughs> really? Why would you want to be like that? You need to be able to stand out. You need to be unique. You need to be extraordinary. And you can only be that when you're true to yourself. Too many of us have been lying to ourselves and to the people who listen to us. We make it seem as if it's easy. So much that when people are failing, they feel they don't measure up. And so they want to give up. Especially we women. And sometimes I don't blame people who do that. It is because society will use your mistakes against you. They will throw it at you. But it is okay. It is okay. You need to make sacrifices. Some of you are lucky. You have mentors. You have programs like this. Where you get people you see in, on your screens, you hear on radio, you read in the news, about in the newspapers, you meet on social media, coming to tell you their true stories. Some of us, when we were growing up, we didn't have it like that. So we had to make the mistake, struggle through, push through. One of the things I wanted to be, in fact, the main thing I wanted to be when I was growing up was to be a land economist. As I stand here, I still don't understand what land economy is about. Because all I saw when I was growing up was that the people in my environment 
who were, who, who seemed to be making it, were land economists. I knew about two of them, and they were doing well. Land economists, so I also wanted to go to tech. Then it was tech, now it's KNUST. To go and do land economy. Charlie, I tried. I know get them. I landed in journalism, I thought, by mistake. But God knew what he was doing. In two days, we'll be celebrating Mother's Day. Dear parents, never give up on your children. Guide them, direct them. I was born into a Christian home, to a Presbyterian father and a Methodist mother. My father, who I grew up with, was consistent in raising me up with the words of God. Of course, at a point in time, you know, I deviated. Stubborn, a rebel. I deviated. But the things he said to me never left me. It guided me until today it guides me. My ultimate aim in life was to make my father proud. Because of the sacrifices he made for me. In two days we'll be celebrating Mother's Day. There are young people today who are hurting because they feel let down by their parents. In June, it will be Father's Day. There are parents today who are hurt because they feel let down by their own children. The Bible says raise a child in such a way that when he or she grows up, they will not depart from it. Listen, when they grow up, so it is possible that along the way they will lose their way. You don't throw up your arms in the air and give up on them. You consistently pray for them. Be there for them. Yes, you had plans. You had spent money on your daughter, on your son. Yet look at what they are doing, where they are today. You still don't give up on them. I believe that one of the things God will ask you about when we finally made it to heaven will be what did you do with the children that I gave you? As for the husband he gave you, as for the wife he gave you, and they are adults. They know their roles already. Unless you deliberately mess them up, you abuse them, you poison, you kill them or something. But children are a gift from God. And when God gives you a gift, you dare not mess up with it. You do not mess with that gift that God has given you. It's just like the talent. My time is up, right? Thank you very much. Just like the talent. Each one, God has given us a talent. What are you doing with it? What are you going to do with it? Is it one, two, three, four, five? Fulfill your purpose. And let me say this before I go. Be you. Know who you are. Know whose you are. Don't change what God made you to be. Because in your oddness, you become unique. In your uniqueness, you stand out. And when you stand out, trust me, trust me, with the grace and favor of God, you'll definitely shine. So keep shining, keep achieving, keep trusting God, and never ever depart from the favor of God. Mm. I'm a, I remain a woman with super crazy faith in God. I know God has got us covered, mm. but he has given us wisdom. Thank you very much. Mm, thank you very much. Um, Auntie Gifty, that is Auntie Gifty. Thank you so much for coming. We are very, very, very humble. But maybe I want you to touch base with these two questions and send a message to the youth. Two things. One, Obia ne marriage a delay kakra. And you be a na wo a delay pain na o nemu dia society ka e guna sum and nenia e wa warye munti e nyame guru miu e bi o nimbe bi odi wukonti o maneche e bi a mature marriage bi ti you need to go through all the process. And ti said the omu be rashi akum. If I said advice you omu ye one, two. Said they are among the nyamia sem any prophecy any asofo to build their lives. I want to touch. I want you to touch base with these two things because people look up to you, and I think these two things are the bigger and the major problems we are having now. So please touch base with this thing well, for thank me. Thank you very much. Nyamekani say, 
um, before I met Warren, no, na me te say, me papa once again. I say man no catch me say, I worry dear ne kwa wa. I worry ne kwa wa. You know, in my presentation, I made mention of the fact that for someone who married at the age of forty-five, you would have thought that I would have things easy. No, I'm still going through the same things, the challenges of marriage. God knows what he's doing with you. Listen, when I got married, tell me why at the age of 45, now me down for me age group, a bit more cry, me new some a year or two. They have been married for over 20 years. But you know what? When I got married at that age, and I wasn't somebody who was sitting at one place, I was in the public space. I was still doing what God has ordained me to do. Not a pastor. No, I'm not a pastor. I'm not a prophet. It's nothing. But the media giving me a voice to use it, and I was using it. When I got married, woman of God, the hope it gave to people, the glory it gave to God, the number of people who were even laughing at me, who suddenly said that it pays to wait on God. Because, you see, the God we serve, he says, I call him the God of the 11th hour. Mm. 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 Just say, he takes the glory for himself. Mm. When he calls you, so what we here, in a special way. And he's preparing something extraordinary for you. I say this to the glory of God. 45 years, where were you reading? You saw the kind of marriage I had. The beauty of it. The mm. comments. Mm. The whole nation even made it to international news. Mm. 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 Including Chinese newspaper. Mm. I don't know where they got it from. Mm. Mm. But it is all about God. Just do your bit and leave the rest to God. Mm. And prepare you. Bompa ye na ye uwa femu de. Do what God wants you to do. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all other things. Including marriage. So doing God's work is not just about going to church, going to sit on the pews, to warm the pews, going to sweep. No. It's about fulfilling purpose. What God has told you to do, what God has given you, using the talent. God has used you to touch lives. It is so important. And at his right time, right time, God is never late. Oh, I'm hmm. telling you, he is never late. He's always on time. He knows what is good for you. And then when it comes to church, <laughs> never joke with your God. Do all other things. Have your fun. Do social, whatever it is. But don't forget that there is a God who created you. And he's the source. Without him, you are nothing. You wither and die. Nothing. Young people know. You don't know the source. If you be patient and watch, you'll be amazed where they will end. There's a difference between the, the success and the fruitfulness and the favor and the grace that God gives us and the ones that other people take from God. Mm. Don't rush. Mm. And the prophecies. The prophecies. Mm -hmm. Run from one church to the other. They want prophecies. They want this. They want that. They are true prophecies. Prophets. Yes, they are true prophets. God speaks through his people. But God speaks through you too as well. When his word comes through the prophets and through the men and women of God, through the prophetess, he will speak to you. Sometimes prophets will be more deep down your heart. You know it and it hits you. All because society puts so much pressure on I can understand. And you're easy. Even till today, I am here to show me age. I'm in the war. I collaborate back 51 years, raising a three year old, going on four years, and yeah, easy. And so, still, people say, Oh, you're not for back. I can't hold. Oh, here, here, there. So, say, you're not bear, maybe, yeah, there. Say, yeah, no, mama, catch room, say. 
Why do you ask me questions when questions that only God has answers to? As if I can never satisfy you. And they satisfy no to me. When your boy say, Because I'll pay, I'll say, Girl, when your girl say, Because I'm a boy, when your boy, one boy, one, just say, No matter what, you can never satisfy human being. Always mm. seek to please God. Okay. It is only when you please God. You. I see your faith in it to say, Boba. Or no, 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 Sign well, thank you very much. What I want people watching us today to understand is that life is a process. Mm. God knows why. God knew your name. God knows what the plans he has for you. Always, always hold on to your faith. Mm. Hold on to God. Never give up on yourself. Mm. You are not in competition with anybody. Mm. Always seek to be the best version of yourself. Mm. Adding value to yourself. Mm. Keep going. Keep moving. Mm. Yo, thank you for watching Celebrity Puppet. Same time next week, we will come your way with another episode. God bless us all.